Welcome back to Fort Lewis. It is a beautiful sunny Sunday in February and I am planting my Valentine fruit trees. I've got a beautiful Turkish fig and a couple of varieties of plums that we're going to be putting in to complement some of the other fruit trees we already have growing. Um, so my plan is to dig nice three nice big deep holes do a little amending with some organic fertilizer and then mulch around the trees so let's get started we've had lots of rain so the ground is easy digging today i just want to make sure that this hole is deeper and wider than the bucket that the tree came in. Loosen up the sides and give it lots of places for the roots to adhere to. Okay, we've got a nice deep hole here. You can see the pot fits perfectly down. When I am getting the tree in, I want this to be at ground level, I don't want to go too deep down onto the actual tree stem. So I'm going to do a little bit of backfilling, put in my compost, and then get this baby all situated. This is a beautiful Turkish fig. I have a Chicago cold hardy. Um, this variety gets a little bit taller, a little bit wider, um, and it's got nice, big, juicy brown figs. And I think it's big enough that we'll probably get some this year. So we're going to get the soil amended with a couple of handfuls of this organic garden tone just to give the tree a, a good head start. I'm just going to sprinkle this in. This is all organic and hopefully give the baby a nice boost. I'll come back later with scissors. Unless I can just rip this off. Get her naked. <laughs> okay, so let's look at getting her out of the pot. I typically just sort of roll them to loosen up the sides and hopefully it'll slide right out. Yeah. Ooh, it's heavy. Okay. So it's sitting a little low and a little crooked. So I'm gonna backfill the dirt, maybe about two inches. Okay, I think this looks nice and straight. So I'm gonna fill in the sides real good. I'm gonna leave this part kind of exposed, like fill up to it, and then we're gonna mulch. Okay, I think she looks great. The next step is to make a little cardboard circle around the tree and then I'm going to mulch it. But you want to be careful with new trees. Don't mulch right up to the base because that's going to keep this real moist and um, encourage rot and stuff. So I'll leave a, a ring of just plain dirt kind of close to the tree and then we'll mulch all around it to retain some moisture. down two to go so we're going to move on to the plum trees and just repeat the same process till all three of them are in the ground nestled in i think this looks good so excited for it babies are in the ground they just need a good drink of water and I'll continue to do so until they're nice and established and um, these are going to complement the other fruit trees that we have growing quite nicely I'll take you on a little tour this is an apricot we put in right after we moved home and it's budding out now it should start developing leaves but it has grown about three times the size it was when we planted it I've also got a mystery fruit tree 
a nectarine, and another fig. This is the nectarine tree. It is the only tree I've had so far to actually give us any fruit. We had one the first year, two last year. Maybe we'll get four this year. Honestly, I forgot what this is. I think it's a peach or an apple. <laughs> it's never made fruit, I don't know. And here is the other fig tree. This one's kind of small. This is the Chicago Cold Hardy fig. And um, it's grown about twice the size it is since I put it in, but um, it gets a lot of shade from that pecan tree, so it's not huge yet. Hopefully one day. Okay, hopefully this 30 minutes of work equals a lifetime of fresh fruit from the garden. I'm really excited about it. We'll continue to check on the tree's progress as we move forward in the seasons. Please subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications, and we'll see you again real soon at Fort Lewis.